Hey guys, how do you do? This is Karen Adamski with ShamaMama.com and today is day three of my one video blog a day for 30 days. So, still feeling a little nervous about it, but bear with me. Uh, today I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about some of the tools that I use. It's kind of a more of a show and tell and it came up because yesterday when I shared how to make feather fans, somebody had wrote in and said um, that they use um, parrot feathers and they'd made their own um, own fan and I thought oh that must be so beautiful and then it made me think of my rattle which is made with macaw feathers so I wanted to share that with you um, I received I got this rattle from from another shaman and he made it himself and it's just so pretty I love it it's one of my favorite tools um, these are macaw feathers I don't know if you can see how pretty these really are and they're just beautiful and it makes such a good noise. Um, I use this tool typically for um, calling in the direction or um, breaking up stuff energy a lot of times or especially when I go out into um, nature and look for a rock while doing rock divination. I, I search with, uh, with this. It just helps bring the spirits in and open up that intuition. So, love this. My other item I wanted to share is my wand, and this was one of the first um, tools that I purchased. This is a branch of willow wood. Uh, on the end here, the back end, it has a small brutalated quartz. The uh, chakras are represented here, and then a clear crystal quartz point. Quartz point. So um, this, I gosh, I use it for tons of stuff, for directing energy, for pulling energy from one thing to another. Um, I use it a lot for activating uh, crystal grids, and that would be a super good topic to talk about. So we'll do that one of these days. Um, but you can kind of activate the grid by really um, bringing all the energy of all the stones that are used together with it. So love this. And the last thing I want to share today is I'm saving this for the grand finale. This is my shaman stick, and if you can see that. The reason this is so, 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 so special to me is because my son purchased this for me from one of my very favorite stores, and it's just really, really meaningful that he that he did that for me. It was a Mother's Day gift, and I use this for pretty much everything. If anything is special, I bring this with me. Um, I use it when I meditate. Um, I just like to hold it sometimes. <laughs> But, it's, but traditionally what a shaman stick would be used for is a sacred ceremony or um, so sometimes people use it as a talking stick, sharing stick, but um, it, it has a crystal here, a crystal point. Um, so it can definitely be used for bringing in energy, transferring energy, directing energy. Uh, but this is just probably my all-time favorite, so love it. Uh, that's it for today. I'm going to keep it short and simple, and I will see you tomorrow for blog number four. Not sure what it's going to be, but I'll see you there. Namaste. Be well.